Hello and welcome to Hair Candy by Alabaster Jar. My name is Nicole Perrine. I'm so excited to talk to you today about bobby pins. Um, you can find my website at www.lillarose.biz slash alabaster jar. I'll put the um, link in the bottom of the screen here. And I am just so excited you're here today. If you're shopping with a party, go ahead and make sure you follow that direct link to your party. And I'm just excited to show you everything that our bobby pins can do. First of all, bobby pins have been around since the late 1800s. They've been patented. So probably your grandmother, great-grandmother, maybe even your great-great-grandmother used them. Now I'm going to tell you something. When I first signed on with Lilla Rose, my kit did not come with a bobby pin. I saw no reason to buy a bobby pin. I thought they were overpriced, but I had enough people ask about them that I decided, you know what, there must be something about these bobby pins. And boy was I right. There was something amazing with them. These are not your grandma's bobby pins. First of all, they are longer, they are stronger, and they are way better put together. Here is an example of a Lilla Rose bobby pin. This is a copper rose bobby pin. And this is an example of a no slip bobby pin from one of our competitors found in the box store. So I just want you to take a look here and see what we're looking at here as far as size goes. Okay, you can see that they are shaped the same, but what you might notice is that they're actually quite a bit different. Um, you can see the Lilla Rose hair accessory is actually thicker by just a tiny amount. There you go. And you can see that they're just a different quality altogether. Now, um, I'm going to show you really fast how quickly these open. This is the other brand. This is the Lilla Rose brand and it's quite tight. You can see it, it takes a bit to get in there and that's a really good thing. You know, previous to Lilla Rose, it would have taken 30 or 40 of these to put my hair up and now because I have these amazing Lilla Rose bobby pins, I'm able to put all of my hair up with just three pins. That You heard me right, three pins. Not only that, these make amazing bookmarks. Um, they're beautiful and they hold their weight and you know what? They'll hold on to a single piece of hair. My husband likes to joke that the four horsemen of the Apocalypse could be at the front door and those bobby pins are not going to move. They are that incredible. They do cost about $5.50 a piece, but they do three times the work, I'm sorry, 10 times the work as um, your bobby pins at the grocery store. So let me show you some really cool things. Um, first of all, I'm going to demo how you can put up um, all of your hair into a single bun with just three bobby pins. I'm going to demo with these beauties today. I love these, the Elegant Flower. Here's a bow. And oh, what else do I have to show you today? What else do I have? I have these beautiful ones. Now these ones look like they have a blue stone on the website, but they actually have an iridescent bead in the middle, so it kind of just catches the light. And then what else do I have here? have these beautiful caprice beads that are very blingy and very fun. And so you can see we have all sorts of different models available and really um, they've gone all out to make these pop and shine and offer what you need. And they have everything from the basic one where you have about eight in a pack all the way to something more extravagant where you're spending $5.50 for a single. You can get sets of four for $15 and sets of two for 10. So there's some very variations in there. You'll have to check the website for the actual updated price. Let me show you real fast how all of my hair can go into a single bun with just three bobby pins. It's truly amazing. Here we go. And I always feel like the count when I do this, you know, from uh, Sesame Street. So I'm just going to put my hair into a basic bun, nothing extravagant. Um, and then I'm going to put my bobbies in. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to flip the bun up so that my tails are tucked in there. And I'm just going to catch the edge and push that in one bobby pin. Okay. Here is two bobby pins and the piece de resistance. Number three bobby pins. And it's not going anywhere. I can hold that all day long. It's not going to fall out. It's going to stay where it needs to be. I can put this in my two-year-old's hair and she actually needs help pulling it out. Um, it's really, really strong, really worth the money. And again, these are not your granny's bobby pins. These are going to do what they're supposed to do. Um, 
they're just not going to move. And that's exactly what they're for. They're supposed to hold in place. Any bobby pin that you get should hold in place and not move and do its job. Now, one warning I have. This is the one thing Lilla Rose has that you have to actually kind of very slowly and gently pull. And sometimes you even want to open the edge of it just a tiny bit because it will hold on to a single piece of hair. Here's that second one there. And again, I'm just making sure that there's no hair in there because if there is, it will hold on to a single piece of hair. And then the very last piece here, just like so, and voila, there we go. Now, something else that I love, love, love to tell people is if you are looking for a gift for somebody and you want to make it personal um, or you want to kind of not sure what you're getting them, getting a really great book and then putting a bookmark in can be a very cool way to give them something. And I love this for stocking stuffers, for Mother's Day, um, just as a thank you. I just think that's fantastic. I always try to pop in a bobby pin whenever I can find a reason to. I think they're fantastic. And of course, they can do all sorts of stuff. Now, if you happen to have something called LuLaRoe in your wardrobe, one of the cool things you can do is you can add structure to your outfits. And so LuLaRoe has these amazing um, clothing styles that are very soft and very flexible, but they don't offer a lot of structure. And so maybe you wanted to have a little ruched piece in your collar. And so you might put this here just to give your collar a little bit of structure and to give it some shine. These also make great hat pins. Um, they work beautifully for just about anything. You can use two of them to make a ponytail. Why don't I do that right now and show you guys what that looks like. So for the ponytail, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a low ponytail. I'm going to take a piece of my hair out and then I'm going to gather that and have that hair wrapped around my ponytail in a nice little tight ponytail shape. Okay, so I've got that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bobby pin and I'm going to lace that through that shape there just like that. And then I'm going to take the second one just to make sure it stays in place and I'm going to cross over it just like that. And that's right, two bobby pins can totally hold a ponytail in place, no problems whatsoever. So those are our bobby pins, they're really, really amazing. If you guys don't have any, you need to get some. They are just a game changer and they do what they're supposed to do. And I just thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you found this sweet and satisfying and can't wait to do more videos. We'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for coming to the Alabaster Jar Hair Candy Tutorial.